Not much you're going to do with that pitch right there. You have to catch it out front before it even breaks, and even if you do that, it's a tough pitch to keep fair. Fielded cleanly on to first, and that is a big out to lead off the home seventh. Now batting. That will bring up Hank Aaron. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. This one is launched. Look at this. Atani looks up. Now a leaping effort at the wall, but he comes up empty. This one is gone. Home run. Into the box, Marcus Simeon. Heard the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1-0. Oh. 0 oh for 2 from him so far in this one. And that one yanked just foul. Bases are empty, one man out. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. You know, what I'm seeing here is a reluctance to throw the fastball. It's like he feels he can't throw the ball right by him right now. And oh, a big rip at the curveball, but he didn't get it, and he becomes the second casualty of the inning. Now batting. Next, Catcher. it'll be Bud He's Rodriguez. Wrong. He went down Rodriguez. on strikes in his last at bat. Yes, he'll take a breaking ball then off the plate for ball one. You know, because this is just a one run game, this doesn't strike me as a situation where he's going to be working around a guy. I think he's going to challenge him right here. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. But he can't get there as it falls. Thought about going for second, but instead, now they've got him in a pickle. And try as he might, but he can't escape the tag there, and the inning is over. Meeting up for Chicago. To the plate now, Wander Franco. Franco. As Verlander jumps ahead of him here with strike one. Swung on and missed that strike two. Man, this dude is locked in on the mound. He's throwing each pitch with confidence. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. He didn't get him to offer at that pitch right there, but that big 12 to 6 curveball is definitely part of the reason he's having such good success in this one. And he fouls this one off. Here's another 2 2. And he struck him out for the first out of the inning, but perhaps more importantly, he's five outs away now. And now the infield shifts into a bunt prevent formation. No surprise with the speed that's at the plate. As Verlander jumps ahead of him here with strike one. Offensive game plan needs to change right here. They need to get a little bit more aggressive. It's too late to try and work counts. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. And a step off. Look into Pudge now, the 1-1. One, one. Right there at the belt, 1-2 and two now. I mean, he's coming right after him, Matty. Three fastballs in a row. Fouled off. One out, nobody on. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. And this guy's a grinder. Fouls off good pitches and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. Got him. Four outs away from his date with history. Number 15. First pitch on its way from Verlander. Tried to check it in its own one. Here's a late swing and a miss. Strike two. And that's got to fire you up right there, boys. This guy has been on the bump all game. Now it's late, and he's still throwing challenge pitch after challenge pitch. Think he's feeling frisky? Trying to strike out the side. Here it is. 
And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. And it's fouled away. The 2 2 one more time. No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two, especially when you throw a non competitive pitch like that on two and two. That one wasn't even close. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. Hey, this is a heck of a battle right here. Long AB. You know what? They find themselves still facing the starter. Got him! So that's eight perfect innings, and the fans can feel it now as the side is retired. Now at the plate, Storm Eagle, and Leading speed's off. the name of the game with him. Despite being the a bronze-tier player, he can be an absolute terror Eagle. on the base paths. Drops one down here, and he'll try to beat it out. And the throw will be too late, so it's a bunch single to get him started here. Stepping in now, Justin Verlander. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Hey, it's always key getting early strikes in account. This guy's been awesome at it so far. Now, meanwhile, the throw to second is there, and he is out trying to steal the base. The 1-1 home. Bases are empty, one man out. And he struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the now ball game. Right Next to head, Mookie Betts. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. As the first pitch here is a bit high, it's ball one. And even though he's had some success against this guy in the ball game, he still knows he's a very dangerous opponent. He won't want to fall behind him any further. The ball in two strikes. Bases are empty here with two men out. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. Carter finds it. But the throw is late, so the inning will continue after the strikeout pitch gets away. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And digging in now at the plate will be Craig Biggio. He said, here it comes. Not a bad spot to miss right there. Much rather have it run inside than out over the plate where the hitter can do a lot of damage. A ball and a strike. Betts leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Pulled high in the air out to left field. But Tani waits on it. And that retires the side. Now into the box, Chris Bryant. He's hitless in the game, as is much of the rest of his team. Chris Bryant. First pitch of the A.B. now. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. Obviously, he's not fatiguing whatsoever. Still in the mid to high 90s with his fastball. These guys got to stay on the attack if they're going to have a chance. And he'll take this to the bag himself. One gone here in the ninth. Next, here is Gary Carter. No hits for him to this point. Not unlike many of his fellow teammates. Outfield in the no doubles defense. Now the first pitch. And he throws the fastball. Jesse Winker will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. The 0 1. Good deception on the slider there as he's way out in front. Good breaking ball right there. Good hard slider to count now 0 and 2. He's getting deep into the outing, but his slider is still staying sharp. He doesn't look at all like he's starting to tire. He looks as good now as he did early on in the game. Popped him up.
And he'll put this one away in foul territory for the second out. The pitcher, number 39, Corbin Brown. Gary, Gary Sheffield will pinch hit pinch here in. with two outs Gary and the base is empty. Sheffield. And signals crossed that time, so he'll step off and try again. <laughs> Expecting a potential bunt, the corner infielders come way in to try to protect. First delivery to him. Verlander jumps ahead of him here with strike one. Fouled away. Not close with that one. It's way above the strike zone. Swing and a miss got him reaching. Throw in time. He's done it. A perfect game. Yeah, you've heard when it rains, of course. Well, it was raining dominance out here in this one. 27 up, 27 down, and he barely broke a sweat half the time. That's one of the rarest feats in all of sports, and I'm just excited I was here to be a part of it. Perfection is always beautiful. Here now is our final line score. First for your victorious.